Look over my shoulder and watch as I create a 30 second nature observation for nature's wild things. See my workflow process for transforming raw video footage into something ready for publishing. This raw video is from a photo walk on September 3rd, 2016 and it was taken in Cabarrus County, North Carolina, which is in the United States. This walk was in one of our county parks. All right, today we're going to look at the widow skimmer dragonfly. This dragonfly is a uh, female dragonfly and uh, I find the dragonflies just to be interesting. I never really studied dragonflies. I'm in my 60s and yeah, as a kid, I saw them around and might have caught one and looked at it once, but I just never really studied the uh, diversity of the dragonflies that we have and uh, the features, you might say, of the dragonfly. And I have some video today that I believe is going to allow us to see one of the coolest features on a dragonfly. And... Uh, Let's just take a look at the video and see what we've got here. Um, skimming through the video. Uh, beautiful, beautiful insect. They eat other insects. Huge eyes. Uh, the eyes nearly touch at the top of the head. The, the face has their mouth <laughs> right where the mouth should be when you look at the front of the dragonfly. Legs have little hairs on them. But look what else we have here. We have a set of stowed arms in the neck area of the dragonfly. And look what he does with them. He can take and use those as windshield wipers. You can see the range of motion that the dragonfly has for its head. His neck allows it, the head to pivot up and sideways. And he uses these little stowed arms to clean his eyes and face with. <laughs> Just amazing. He also uses those arms occasionally, I've noticed, for balance. So when it's a windy day, he'll uh, use those little arms to help him balance. But uh, they, they use those little arms for cleaning purposes. I'm not sure if he's holding prey in his mouth, whether he uses those arms or not. That might be another interesting observation to look for here. And uh, other things to notice here, when I skim through more quickly, I basically speed up. They have breathing holes on the sides of their body right underneath the top set of wings. And their body parts internally pull air in, I believe, from those breathing holes. And that air passes the whole way down the length of their body into their tail area. And I believe it helps cool them. So when you watch the tail area as I'm skimming through here, you can actually see the entire body expanding and contracting as he's breathing. And on his topmost right wing, right where it's attached to his body, there's a little section there where you can actually see almost like a, a pump going up and down. And I believe it correlates with his breathing there. So uh, that's how they breathe and that's how they 
keep cool in the summertime. Another way they keep cool in the, the really oppressive heat that we have here in the south is they'll perch on the, the twig like this, but they'll point their tail directly at the sun, minimizing the amount of surface area on their tail that's exposed to the sunlight. Fascinating little creatures here. All right, let's let's take and try to figure out where we want to do a 30 second video. And I think it should really show off his little windshield wipers, his little face legs. I don't know what you'd call them. I don't know what the proper name is, but uh, do some really interesting things there. So let's let's. Let's see where we start here with him looking around and using his legs. There he's really looking around. We'll make that an in point. And he's using his legs. Let's make that an out point. But uh, let's move this whole thing down to the timeline, see what we've really got here. We've got about 10 seconds worth of video here. And he seems to be, let's scrub through that 10 seconds just to see what we've got. And when I'm scrubbing, you hear that little motorboat running. That's the audio at super, super, super slow motion. 60 frames per second. So I'm going through 60 photographs every uh, second of video that I have here. And that noise like a motorboat is the audio from each of those frames. All right, let's, let's uh, increase this to about uh, 30 seconds in length and uh, see what what speed that it moves at and what we've got to look at here see we can really see the use of those arms or whether we're going to have to adjust that a little more yet so we'll uh, spread it out here and all right let's see, watch this in real time I think in the beginning of the clip he moves his head around but he doesn't use his wipers so let's uh, cut off some of the beginning about there is where he starts using his wipers so let's let's shorten this clip up here go back to the clip being 30 seconds again we have it at 17 seconds now and that should really help slow down what we want to show off in this video, which is his uh, built-in windshield wiper feature here. <laughs> uh, let's take a look. And now let's watch this in real time here. There, he's wiping, wiping again. He's going to look in the other direction and wipe. All right. I'm going to cut just a little bit off the 
front here again to right to the point where he starts moving and I'm going to add just a little bit at the end here to give us some room to fade out and we're right at about uh, 30 seconds here let's watch this again so he quickly moves to cleaning his face as soon as the video starts he cleans his face and turns his head in a different direction you can hear the birds on this <laughs> piece of audio and it, it, they're, they're sounding strange because we're only going at 20% speed so let me go down here and I'm going to grab the audio track and just eliminate it so we won't have the birds annoying us all right I think we need to add a dissolve at the end yet let's just move the scrubber up and see what that dissolve looks like it looks pretty good I think we have ourselves a new 30 second nature 